Hello, and welcome to Lake Worth Community High School's Title I Annual Meeting. Thank you for taking the time to attend. Today, you will learn what it means to be a Title I school, understand your rights as a parent or family member of a child who attends a Title I school, and have the opportunity to request regular meetings with your students' teachers and school counselors. During the presentation, we will share specific information about the Title I program and answer any questions you might have about Title I and our school. According to federal guidelines, every Title I school must hold an informational annual meeting. The meeting allows parents and family members to better understand the importance of their role in their child's education. It also gives us an opportunity to ask for your input to help us improve our Title I program. So what is Title I? Title I is part of the Every Student Succeeds Act, a law first passed in 1965. The purpose of this law is to provide federal funds to support schools with high poverty rates, to ensure that all children have the opportunity and resources to obtain a high quality education. To this, Title I funds are used to support instruction, professional development of teachers, and family engagement programs. Schools qualify for Title I funding based on the percentage of students eligible to receive free or reduced price meals. That is why completing the lunch application is very important. The more students are eligible, the more funding the school receives. If you have not completed your student's lunch application, please do so on the school website under students food service. Title I funds are in addition to what the district provides. The funds are used to supplement and create innovative programs at our school, including support for families. In fact, a set amount must be spent on parent and family engagement. Parents and family members are important stakeholders and have the right to give input into how the school will spend these funds. What does this mean for Lakewood Community High School? Parents have the right to be part of other decision-making committees like School Advisory Committee or SAC and PTA, Parent Teacher Association, in addition to requesting regular meetings with teachers and school counselors. We'll be sharing more information about parents' rights and family engagement throughout the presentation. It is important to know that the School District of Palm Beach County implements the, the Title I model. This model means all students, teachers, parents, and family members in a Title I school benefit from the funding and services regardless of which students made the school eligible. In a school-wide program, all teachers, all students, and all families benefit. Our school-wide plan was developed using the data from last year's school assessments. Our action steps this year are focusing on our comprehensive needs. For example, adding a Creole speaker support facilitator, providing parents with hands-on technology training, and increasing student engagement. Some of our action activities will be professional development for teachers, providing bilingual academic tutors inside the classroom, as well as an online supplemental program to assist students after school. Our goal with this plan is to increase communication with our parents, as well as increasing the graduation rate. This year, our Title I focus, again, you'll see, is in the classroom. We are using the funds to hire several core teacher positions, as well as the tutorials for students after school, particularly those who may be at home under quarantine. We want to make sure that there's a one-to-one -one device 
availability for all students and make sure they have the necessary materials in various classes, for example, microscopes and biology classes. Also, we need to provide additional support to teachers through social facilitators, academic coaches, and bilingual tutors in the classroom. We also want, we'll be hosting three parent family trainings this year, as well as making sure our teachers have various professional development to assist them in their instruction. Our school-wide plan involves the entire school community, including families. Researchers have study the benefits of family involvement in schools and have found that schools are positively impacted when their families are involved in their education. Students will earn better grades, they will do better on tests, they're more likely to attend school, they're better able to adapt to change like the COVID pandemic, they have better social skills, they're more likely to be promoted to the next grade. And of course, we'll come up with a plan to continue their education after graduation. We recognize the importance of partnering with families so students reap those benefits. Part of our school-wide plan includes how we partner with families to help students succeed. In fact, we have an entire plan that outlines the steps we will take to strengthen our partnership with families. That plan is called the Parent and Family Engagement Plan or PFIP. Our PFIP describes how the school partners with community, volunteers, and businesses to increase student achievement. It also outlines specific academic training designed for parents and family members to learn strategies they can use at home and help their children master specific foundational skills. The PFIP summary is posted on Lake Worth Community High School's website. Please go to the Lake Worth Community High School website, click on Title I to read the PFIP summary. This year, we will host three parent trainings. The first one will be held October 19th, and it is titled Navigating High School Successfully. Since many of our freshmen and sophomore students entered high school during the distance learning, we think it's important that they get a summary on how to best navigate now that we are back to school face-to-face. -face. Our second training will be November 16th, in which we will discuss the 101 regarding testing. There will be a series of standardized testing that students will have to take this school year, and we want to make sure you and your students are informed. Our third parent training will be held January 25th, 2022, and that one will discuss students' plans after high school, graduating, now what? Please try to attend these parent trainings if you can. An important part of the parent and family engagement plan is our school parent compact. This compact is also developed jointly with parents, family members, and staff and staff and outlines the responsibility each have to raising student achievement. Our school parent compact can be found on Lake Creek Community High School's website under Title I. The compact is provided in three languages, English, Haitian Creole, and Spanish. Here is a brief glimpse at our school parent compact. You'll see the focus is on our academic goal, we want to maintain our graduation rate that meets the school district's five-year goal of 90%. We want to increase our literacy and content area assessment scores. This is why you will 
attending the testing parent training will be beneficial to help you understand how you can assist your student with proficiency on the FSA, math and English, as well as the biology and US history EOCs. Title I schools must inform parents and family members of their rights. Parents and family members have the right to request information regarding their child's teachers and paraprofessionals qualifications and their child's academic level and growth on state assessments. Parents must be notified if their child has been taught for four or more weeks by a teacher who is licensed to teach in the state of Florida, but does not hold a certificate to teach the grade or subject listed above. Parents must also be notified if their child has been taught for four or more weeks by a substitute teacher who is approved by the district to te substitute teach, but does not hold a Florida Department of Education teaching certificate for the grade level or subject listed above. Schools must share with parents their child's assessment results on the FSA, EOC, and SSA. The out of content area letters will be sent home via your students. If a parent or guardian has ever had migrant work and their child moves with or joins the parent anytime, no matter what work the parent does now, then the child may be eligible for services provided by the migrant education program. The parent or guardian must be interviewed to see if they qualify. Please call the school to request an interview if you believe your child qualifies for this program. In addition to the services that we provide to migrant students, did you know that our district also provides support and services to students that are experiencing homelessness? Homelessness is defined as living in a shelter, motel, vehicle, or campground, living on the street, living in an abandoned building or have substandard housing, living in a motel or a hotel, or double up temporary relatives or families due to a hardship. Every effort is made to address the needs of students and families experiencing homelessness. Families can contact the school to find more information on the services that the school and district provide. If you or your students are experiencing this situation, please complete the student housing questionnaire or call 561-350-0778. We will get you in touch with, they will get you in touch with the necessary people to help you qualify for the McKinney Vento Homeless Education Program. This concludes our annual Title I meeting. Thank you so much for attending. If you have any questions, we will pause for a brief question and answer session. If not, you can complete the evaluation using the link posted on our school website under annual meeting and post your questions there. Thank you again for attending. Have a good evening.